For athletes who are in season, will quad strengthening exercises decrease the likelihood that they experience patellar tendon pain? A 2021 study attempted to answer this question. In the study, a functional high-load exercise intervention for the patellar tendon reduces tendon pain prevalence during a competitive season in adolescent handball players. This study took place at the Olympic Training Center Berlin, and they looked at top-level handball athletes aged 12 to 14 years old. In the control group, they had 18 athletes, and they followed them for an entire year. In the following year, they looked at the experimental group, which was 16 athletes. In the control group, they just did their regular sport-specific training consisting of explosive strength, which was low-load, high-velocity, and muscular endurance training, which was low-load with a high number of repetitions. In the experimental group, they did the functional high-load exercise intervention, and it was integrated into the strength training component, so they didn't have to change the overall duration of training. The athletes used exercises that A, could be learned and performed by adolescents, and B, only involved equipment available in a regular gymnasium setting. So both groups had the same training time. They simply replaced the control group's sport-specific training with the experimental group's functional high-load exercise intervention. The experimental group did their training twice per week. It was five sets of four reps with a three-second hold on each rep. They rested one to two minutes between sets, so the entire duration was about 15 minutes per session. The session was only one exercise, but they did this for an entire year, so they had a progression as the athlete got stronger. For the first four weeks, they did a single leg squat. They would go to 90 degrees and hold there. For the next three weeks, they did a single leg stepping on a bench. They would do it at 90 degrees and hold there. For the next seven weeks, they did a single leg squat with a bench with a partner holding at 90 degrees. For the next six weeks, they did squats with a partner piggyback holding at 90 degrees on two legs. For the next eight weeks, they did single leg squats with a partner piggyback holding at 90 degrees. And for the last eight weeks, they did a variation of the single leg squat with the partner piggyback where they would go to the bottom and alternate legs from there. So that was a training for the experimental group, whereas the control group just did their regular sport specific training, which was the explosive strength and the muscular endurance training. Throughout the study, they looked at vastus lateralis muscle architecture, quadriceps muscle strength, and measurement of patellar tendon mechanical properties. We are not going to talk about that because what we care about is the visa P changes on the questionnaire, which tell us how their patellar tendon pain was progressing. In the experimental group, all athletes were pain-free from the time period M2 to M4, and 5 out of 15 athletes in the control group but none of the 16 experimental group experienced worsening of these symptoms during the season. The researchers said in comparison to a control group that followed the regular training schedule, patellar tendon pain frequency and the rate of clinically significant aggravations of symptoms was lower in the athletes that received the intervention. Although it's difficult to extrapolate out based on the small sample size and very young population, it is interesting to see that they can decrease patellar tendon pain with a very small investment twice per week, 50 minute per session quad strengthening.